Hello everyone, welcome to my channel today. My name is Emily. I created Definite Hearing as a way to support the deaf and hard of hearing and support their friends and family members. You'll notice I have hearing aids in both ears. I've had them since I was four months old. My hearing loss is rated as moderate to severe, so hearing aids help a lot. So because I have hearing aids and I have a hearing loss, life is different for me. And so I created this channel to increase awareness for the deaf and hard of hearing. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to making more awesome content. Today, I'm going to talk about how you can make an awesome learning environment for online classes. This is particularly important for any deaf or hard of hearing students or parents of deaf or hard of hearing students. I'm gonna share a few things today that will improve the online learning experience. Here we go, let's get to it. One thing I wanna say is please stick around to the end of this video because if you do, I am going to share my all in all tip to like have computer captions. I hope you stick around to the end because I use this frequently in work meetings and video chats whenever I can't hear well. I even use this tactic to caption my YouTube video sometimes. So stick around to the end for this tip. Here we go. Here are some tips to create an optimal learning environment for a deaf or hard of hearing person. Number one, face a window. As you can see, I have these blinds right here. The sun comes in right here, and with the sun on my face, it creates even lighting. It's easier to read my lip, and it's easier for people to see me. It also helps me focus having the sun on me. Obviously, I don't have direct sun. I like to keep a nice balance. So there you go. Number one for an optimal learning environment is to have good lighting. Number two, sit in a comfy place. So as you can see, I have this rocking chair right behind me, it's super comfy. I just sit back, relax. I have my computer right here and I am ready to go. So make sure you are in a comfy seating position. Next, have a solid wall in the background. As you can see, I have a white wall right here. My camera is scooted back a little bit more today. Typically, all you can see is a white wall right here. So. Fun. I love it. I like having a white wall because it creates a good contrast and it prevents any possible distractions with zoom backgrounds or bright colors that can be impeding and things like that. As I share these tips, don't be afraid to share these tips with other classmates or teachers because they can use these tips as well to improve the learning environment for all students. Number four is have your computer charged, have your devices charged. So I have my computer right here. It's at a nice level when I sit at this chair and to keep it charged to make sure it doesn't die during a call, I have a power strip that's right next to my chair. Here it is. So I have my computer charger and then my phone charger is back here as well. So there you have it. Make sure that power is easily accessible in addition to your devices. Next, know what educational platform your school uses. This could be Google Hangouts, Zoom, or another video conferencing service. Check with the school and see if captions are available. On Google Hangouts, captions are available in the bottom bar and you just simply hit that and it automatically starts bringing up the captions. I've been impressed, they are pretty accurate. Zoom also has a captioning option, but in order to use that, you need to go in through your account profile, hit settings, manage your settings, and go to close captionings in the list and hit the toggle to on. Now, once you toggle that, you go to the meeting, you kind of expect them to auto-generate like Google Hangouts does. That is not the case with Zoom. Zoom captions, you either have the ability to hand captioning off to another participant in the Zoom call. So what I'm saying is you would need a transcriber to be in class to be able to generate those captions, or Zoom allows you to send an API token to a transcriber, a third-party transcriber remotely. Though the captioning option is there and it's available, that's appreciated, but because a third party is required to come in and transcribe, it can create scheduling issues and you just get different captioning preferences when you have different transcribers. So for example, one transcriber might do a word for word transcription and another transcriber might do meaning for meaning. And what this means is you just have different ways of communicating the information. And so that can be a little tricky. It's not as 
accessible, I feel like, as Google Hangouts option is to be able to just hit the caption button and it just starts rolling. But I will say that having a physical person doing the transcribing can increase some accuracy because sometimes the AI is not super accurate in voice transcriptions, especially with the variances in people's voices. So I hope that makes sense, but talk to your school, figure out what technology they're using and make sure you activate the captions for that. I'm like super excited about my caption hack. Please stick around to the end because if neither of those options works for you, this one probably will. So please stick around to the end. Okay, and lastly, the last tip I have is do not forget that you still have the ability to access the benefits in IEP and 504 plans. Those are absolutely important. Those are educational plans that have been put in place by various accessibility laws that allow students with disabilities to have the IEP and 504 laws were put into place to help create an equal learning environment for students with disabilities. Please check those out. Please talk with your school's counselors and your teachers to make sure your child has the accommodations they need to be successful in school. And if you would like, I've created a video for teachers of children who are deaf or hard of hearing. Definitely check that video out as well and that may be good to share with your child's teacher or your teacher so that they can better understand how to help you. Last but not least, enjoy school. Participate, be involved, answer questions. If you have a question, I can guarantee if someone else has that question, go ahead, ask it, be involved, enjoy the conversations, don't let your hearing loss hold you back from participating in school activities and conversations. Okay, I am so glad you stuck around to the end of this video because here is my all and all captioning hat. So as you can see, I have my computer right here and I have my phone right here. So my captioning hack is what I do is I pull up whatever video conferencing application I'm using. More often than not, it is Zoom. So I'll pull up Zoom just normally using my account and then I will take my phone, I'll open the Otter AI app and simply just hit the microphone button right here and then record. And there you have it. It just starts recording right there and it's so awesome because even though Zoom doesn't have a great closed captioning integration on the screen, Otter AI can just sit right on my computer, right here, I just put it right here, and as the lecture's going, I am able to follow along with what is being said, and also the great thing is, I can end the recording at the end of the meeting or the end of the lecture, and then save it and listen to it later. Otter AI isn't 100% accurate, but like I would say it's 99% accurate. It's super accurate. I love it and I love to save those transcriptions and they save the recording. So if you go back and you read the transcription and something doesn't make sense, you can listen to the recording and hopefully be able to understand what is being said during that time if the recording and the transcription did not catch it. So like I said, I love this captioning hack. I use it frequently, like I said, during meetings, if I cannot understand what's being said. And I also like to use it to caption my YouTube videos. That sounds crazy, but sometimes YouTube does not auto-generate captions. And if I am low on time, I'll just hit play on my video, hit play on my Otter AI transcription and just let it sit on my bed for however long the video is, and then upload the transcription, review it and upload it. Color. So a lot of ear molds are advertised either in sample swatches on a ring or online. I recently got my ear mold impressions done, as you saw, and ordered my ear molds. My audiologist sent me a picture of my ear molds. Check it out. She said, is this what you were expecting in your ear mold color? So I absolutely love this. It's just so great. And I think it's a great option if captions are not automatically embedded into whatever video service you're using. So I hope this helps you. I hope that these tips help you have an optimal learning environment because with a hearing loss, learning is already difficult because you have to pay attention to so much, you have to process so much, you have that hearing fatigue, and it can be overwhelming, especially with endless hours of online learning. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions for me, please let me know in the comments below. And I would love to hear if this works for you or 
do you have any tips that help you that maybe I didn't mention? I mean, obviously there are so many tips that could be out there, like stay hydrated, make sure you get up and walk around every now and then, get a treat and all those things. But if you have any other ideas, I wanna hear them in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to making more awesome content and I am excited for what I've got coming next time. Have a great day, everyone. We'll talk again soon.